Hey guys, Crewman here, and if you are mining Zealous, you need to watch this video. You absolutely must watch this video. Hopefully you've already done these steps, but if you haven't, tune in. So, Rigel Miner released 1.7.0 update this weekend, and let me tell you what, the improvements are dramatic. We are talking a 200% increase in the RTX 3070. You're looking at over 175% on the RTX 3060 Ti. You're, t you're looking at about a 35 to 40 percent across the board on the 40 series gpus now amd can still still can't mine this this is incredible and you're also looking at much less power fluctuation going from a one zero miner to rigel miner so in this video i'm going to show you the improvements from the 3070 and the 4060 ti perspective two of the most common gpu miners right now and then i'm going to show you the power fluctuation difference on the 3070 and finally I'm going to go over my updated overclocks for all the GPUs that I am mining with and then explain to you how you can use Rigel Miner to improve the hash rate and efficiency settings of any other NVIDIA GPU that I from 30 series to 40 series. Now I haven't done any testing with the 20 series. I'll probably be doing that later and look for a short later on if I can get it in time. Okay, so remember this is not an endorsement of Zell and none of this is financial advice. Use this video for entertainment purposes only. All right, so you can see the one on the right is Rigel Miner, and the one on the left is one zero Miner. And it's pretty simple. I mean, all you have to do is look at this chart. You can see right here uh, from the timestamps that I tested these within minutes of each other. And you can see that with the 3070 on my best settings on one zero Miner, I was getting about 66 kilo hash. My 3070 on Rigel Miner, that I'm getting about 140 kilo hash. So that is quite the jump. Uh, and you can also, my Zill number is also improved on Rigel, but that's just because I know how to set Zill better on Rigel than 1.0. But the important thing to note is look at the power usage. We show about 94 watts for 66 kilo hash on the left with 1.0. And then we are at about 107 watts for 140 kilo hash on Rigel. Now, for Zell, I personally don't care about efficiency settings as I'm trying to slam out as much Zell hash as I can right now because I use so much less power than I do triple mining that uh, you know efficiency is secondary to me. But I will go over how to f um, OC these to be efficient should you choose to later on in this video. But I just wanted to show you the difference between the 3070 on on Zell hash from one zero miner on the left to Rigel miner on the right. And as you can see, it's it's not even a comparison. It's basically just a joke. All right, so I forgot to edit out the background noise, but I really like this comparison, so I didn't really want to refilm it. So you can see right here, my face covering up my talking face, so don't confuse anybody, but you can see the jump between one zero and Rigel. The jump on one zero is about 83 to about 110, and the jump on Rigel is only about 90 or 99 to 110. So you can see there is quite a bit less fluctuation in power on the 3070 from Rigel Miner than one zero, especially since I was able to use the memory off or the memory clock lock to help out with that. And I think that makes a difference farm wide when you have a ton of GPUs as well as on the bigger GPUs like the 170 HX, the 4090, and the 3090. And then finally I want to show you the 4060 Ti, another very common GPU, basically the 3070 of this generation in my humble opinion, and you can kind of see the difference. Now this isn't as pronounced, I think there's an issue with Rigel's uh, kernel I think it is for the 40 series because the 4060 Ti should be doing more than the 3070 should be since this is mostly a core algorithm so I'm assuming this needs to be fixed but even if it even at the current rate you're still looking at from 68 to 70 with the 24070s on the left to the the ones on the right you're looking at 96 to 92 so you're looking at about a 30 almost 30 percent improvement still now i understand the 40 series does not have as good of an improvement on the 30 series but that does not mean you should still upgrade improvement on hash is improvement on hash and if you don't upgrade you're just going to get left behind so i would all 
but I just wanted to show you that the 40 series does not give you quite the improvement that you get in the 30 series. But like I said, I think that's due to an issue with the minor more than anything because the 4060 Ti should be hashing more than the 3070. So if I were to guess, I would guess that we would be getting somewhere, we should be getting somewhere around uh, 170 to about 190 kilohash on the 4060 Ti. All right, so here you can see the settings I used for the 3070 and the 4060 Ti. Uh, top, you can see the 1.0 settings. These were my favorite settings, and this is my favorite Regal, Regal settings. Now, the thing that you'll notice is the memory lock and the memory offset actually had a difference in terms of hash rate improvement. The memory lock actually did improve the hash rate a little bit, and the memory offset does reduce your power jumping as you saw when I compared Rigel and 1.0. Now, if you want to make these more efficient, again, I don't really care about efficiency, for a slight loss of hash rate, you can drop the memory offset down to 501 and you can always lower the core clock and raise the core offset. But again, I'm just going for efficiency. Now, if you were to translate this to other 30 series, I would think that if you had a high, you obviously have to lower the core clock on Rigel than 1.0, and that's straight across the board for the 30 series. So any other 30 series, I would start with lowering the core clock and then raising the offset a little bit to coincide with it. I would also add a memory lock for any of the GDDR6X memory cards from like the 3070 Ti and up. I would start with a 1000 uh, memory lock. Remember, Rigel uses the same settings as Windows, unlike 1.0. So if you had a memory lock of 2000, of 1600, for example, I'm sorry, 2600 for the 3070 on 1.0, you would have to drop it down to 1300. Uh, and the memory offset, I found that 7000 didn't do much in terms of reducing the power jump, but and 5000 lowered the hash 5001 lowered the hash rate so that's why i got 6001 like i said that just the memory offset just helps you with the power now you already saw the software jump so i'm not really going to go over that on the 3070 now for the 4060 ti remember when looking at these you have to understand that the kernel was a little borked but i would still go with these overclock settings again i would drop the core lock same way we did with the 3070. You can probably keep the offset the same, especially for the 4060 Ti. Now for higher end 40 series, I would probably drop the offset as you get to like the 4080 and the 4090, I'd probably drop it to like 260 or 250. And as you get to like the 4070, you could probably just drop it down to about 270, give or take. Um, the memory lock does matter uh, for the 40, for the 4060, TI, I have it at about 1200 for the rest of the 40 series. You can up it to about 14 to 1500. And the memory offset I did not use on the 40 series as I don't think they need it as much as the 30 series does. But you can always do it uh, again somewhere between 5000 and 7000 helps. And as far as the efficiency and the, the efficiency, I don't really trust the efficiency numbers on this one as I think the kernel's borked. So now that we showed the differences in OCs between Rigo and 1.0, finally let me show you how to set up the flight sheet in Hive. Here's a quick example of what you need to do. And honestly, all you need to do is update to the latest version of Hive and set the flight sheet up exactly like this. And you can see in the extra config parameters right here how I have everything set up. Honestly, this is not a hard flight sheet to set up. It's pretty much a breeze and it's self-explanatory. So, and remember, always put Zill as your second coin. So I hope this video explained why you need to upgrade from 1.0 to Rigel. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Crew man, out.